Thank you for tuning in. Um, this is our video demonstration of how to configure syslog MD services on PF firewall. Um, you can call it as secure uh, syslog MD services as well because it is going to be over TNS on SSL. So on my screen, I have 2.6 release. And first step is to have the proper certificate generated locally, or you could have the certificate imported if generated externally. As in my case, you can see, have already imported the CSO in the respective server certificate. So this is the certificate that I'm going to use for the syslog ng services. And once configured, the PF10 firewall will then act as a syslog, secure syslog server, and all the networking device and then down the syslog to the PF10 firewall, which will act as a secure syslog server. So again, this is the PSL Fabel key, and this is the server sir, PS sir. So now I have both the certs uh, imported. And for those of you who would like to know how to import the certificate into PFSense firewall, refer to the video on your screen. Now, once you have the certificate generated locally, or if you have imported the certificate that we are going to use for the secure syslog, you can now then move on to the next, which is to install the package syslog ng. So click on system, go to packet man package manager. and then click on available package. Now inside the package, uh, package manager, inside available package, we will have to search for syslog. I am not able to see anything inside this because I already have it in the install packages. So you can see here, I have already installed it. But in your case, it will come inside the available packages. You'll have to create the syslog ng and then install it. Since in my case, it is already installed, so I will move on to the next step. Now click on services, click on syslog ng under, uh, under general tab, click on Enable, uh, select the ink page. In my case, I'm going to run the syslog ng server on the RAN interface. Select the protocol as TLS. Select the PA cert, which is going to be Palo PA. And the certificate, server certificate, which is going to be EF cert. Default port, 
have mentioned it as 5140 and this is the log file where the data will be dumped some common settings Now we can save this. So now we have our configuration ready. And this particular certificate is uh, actually generated for the WAN interface, which is having the IP address 192.168.137.141. So if you have the certificate where you have the common name mentioned as host name, make sure your device is able to resolve it to the IP address where you have the secure syslog services enabled. Under the advanced setting, you do not have to do anything. And you can view the logs inside the log viewer. And you can put filter as well. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can configure the networking device to forward the syslog data to the Secure syslog ng server, which is going to be our PF fence firewall. So, please be tuned to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.